current alternatives. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin has the story tonight from the Pentagon. For the first time, the Pentagon plans to deploy a weaponized laser on board a Navy ship. This new weapon is slated to be operational off the coast of Iran early next year. Video released by the U.S. Navy shows the laser lock onto a slow-moving target, in this case an unmanned drone. The drone soon catches fire and crashes into the sea below. It, quote, operates much like a blowtorch with an unlimited magazine, according to one Pentagon official. For the first time, we're going to demonstrate that lasers can take out operational aircraft. Now, albeit they're slow drones, they're not fast movers. The laser will be capable of obliterating these small boats and unmanned drones with a blast of infrared energy. It will be mounted to the fantail of the USS Ponce and sent out to the Fifth Fleet region in the Persian Gulf, where Iran operates small surveillance drones and is known for swarming and harassing U.S. Navy ships with small armored speedboats. One of its major advantages is its relatively low cost to operate after an initial investment of $32 million. A round of this directed energy that comes out of this laser is a little under a dollar. A little under one U.S. dollar. That's effectiveness and that's affordability. Compare that to a Tomahawk missile, which costs the taxpayer $1 million each time it is fired. When the Air Force tried to mount a laser on the tip of an airplane, those lasers cost nearly $1.5 billion apiece. The Pentagon canceled this costly airborne laser program two years ago. U.S. Navy officials are concerned that the new laser technology won't work in poor weather conditions, and for now it's not clear the ship-mounted laser can bring down faster-moving threats, such as incoming fighter jets or missiles.